Okay, so uh, normally I fix TVs. Uh, about to fix my drill. It's a Milwaukee. It's one of these M12 things. Uh, Uh, it says it's a 2407-20. So, anyway though, the problem with it is, and it's been doing this for about a year, the light won't go out. Sometimes it does, sometimes I can like just hit it a few times and it'll go out, but it's really annoying. It'll sit in my toolbox and just drain the battery. So what I'm about to do is open it up <clears throat> and I think all I really need to do is just clean the switch. So, just get all the screws out. It would be really nice if I had a, a drill to do this with, but I have to do it the old fashioned way. Um, In case you ever need to do this yourself, the bit that I'm using is a T10. So, T10 bit, so it's a Torx size 10. Just get all these screws out. This will be the first time I've ever opened this, and if I'm lucky, I'll be able to close it back up when I'm done. Okay, so that is let's go on there. Oh, okay. It's like a little uh tab thing here. And you gotta kinda lift it. It's like a little metal clip and you just got to kind of pry the tab up a little bit. <coughs> so, alright, what is the problem? The switch is filthy. So, let's see if you can see this. Damn it. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the switch is just filthy. So, that's probably what the problem is. It's just dirty and it's just getting stuck. So, what I'm going to do is just take some alcohol. And a toothbrush. In fact, I think I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I wanna take this whole thing out. I might not get it back in, but uh, I guess what I'll just do is just spray some alcohol on it. And then kind of scrub it up a little bit with a toothbrush.
So, yeah, it's got like a, it's got like a little lighting circuit here, but I really doubt the, uh, I doubt that there's anything wrong with that. So, just going to try to scrub it up as good as I can. I guess that's like more than just the lighting circuit, it's like the whole control circuit. Just get this a little bit too, and I can see that something fell out, and I don't have a clue where that came from, so yeah, that was what I was worried about. That's the something to do with forward and reverse. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to figure out how that goes. I think. figure out where that piece came from. saw it, but hmm. I well, for one thing, <coughs> This goes like that. Oh, uh, you know what? Okay, I know what that goes to. I got it. <coughs> Where did it go? Okay, so this little brass piece actually goes in here with this selector switch and it's to keep tension that's uh, yeah it fits perfectly in there so that's, that's definitely where that goes. Okay, that's, that had me worried for a second. So, put that back in there. And, Get 
this piece. back in place and then I'm not gonna worry about that. Put this back. Okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna hope it doesn't blow up. And we're gonna see if the switch actually goes out or the light I mean. I think we might have got it. See, yep, twice in a row. You know what they say, if it works three times in a row, it's good. Oh yeah, I think we fixed it. Alright, so... Oh, hey. Let's... Okay. Everything seems to still work. So, let's get these screws back in it. I think it was just, uh, some sawdust or something in there stopping the switch from coming out all the way. So This little clip thing back in. It just uh, pushes in place, and that's it. Let's see if it goes back out again. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Okay, so I did end up having to take it apart one more time, and unfortunately I forgot to press record on the camera. So uh, the only thing that I really did the second time is I got all up under this uh, black part right here, the, uh, the trigger part. 
I got all up under that where it connects to the switch and I also cleaned the housing itself which may, pro may, may very well have been the problem it might have just been the uh, residue sawdust and stuff that was on there that I didn't get the first time so uh, it does work now every time it takes like 15 or 20 seconds or whatever for it to go out but it works consistently now um, as you can see should go out again yeah so that that's pretty much it though um wasn't that hard to do it like I said I had to do it twice probably because I didn't clean the housing good enough the first time so that's it though, uh, thank you for watching, uh, like, subscribe, comment, um, click the little notification bell and you'll get notified when I put up new videos, and that's all for now.